So what advice would you have for that? Let's say that persona, 28 year old technologist, they're a software developer, or maybe they're, mm -hmm. they're more on the data architecture side. They have work authorization, or at least they have OPT status. Where do they start? Very good question. Generally, what happens is they've kind of, they'll work for the company and they're like, you know, I would love to get out of this company. I would love to move on and see what's out there. And again, usually the case, they do want to leave and they want to know what's out there. But the advice right now would literally be stay with your company because you have to, you have to have them sponsor you. But once, say, if I was to be able to educate them on how they can do it themselves, it changes the game completely. Now they can refocus on just being really looking after themselves. And this is what I was getting to earlier. Branding yourself in any industry is super, super important. It doesn't matter what company you work for. You know, the name on the back is just as important as the one on the front, like in sports. It's super important. Yeah. And so you're actually taking everything into your own hands. It's amazing. But so many people are not aware of it. They think they've got to just stick with this company and stay for a long time. That 28-year-old engineer is like, well, no, I've got to stay here until that day that they turn around and say, okay, we'll sponsor you. But imagine if they've already got the visa themselves and say, actually, I'm okay. I can choose to stay. I'm actually looking at another organization. The company will be like, oh my gosh. So that's power putting back into the people, putting back into the candidates. And again, like I said, it's a candidate driven market, always will be. So we just got to make it even more candidate driven, more competition. And what are you seeing like in terms of like wage suppression? Like I have friends in Miami and I'm sure you do mm -hmm. where. They were on H1B for five years and the employer keeps dangling the, the potential to, to sponsor an EB2 green card. Yeah. And they're getting paid less than they should uh, compared um, to their American peers. And what do you kind of see? Like, how much are they leaving on the table, not taking it into their own hands and, and securing their own green card, securing their own future? Yeah, the H1B is, is a really, really good example to use, actually, Pat, because there are so many companies and clients that I've been to, and these guys are seriously, they get paid so much less, so yeah. much less. And and clients and clients do know that because, again, they run the risk. It's the fear factor of leaving, you know, and, and especially over the past couple of years, people on H1B visas now that they can be rejected straight away. And then they've got to go back home overseas, and that's that's a hell of an undertaking after you've raised your family here and your kids are here, and, and it, it's, it's terrible. You know, and they can be on there for... They can be waiting for their green card for 20 years. And it's just dumbfound me over the years I've spoke to all these people. And they can never work in any federal any federal clients because, you know, if someone wants to choose that. And in technology, that's very, very important to get some level of clearance because the federal market is brilliant for technologists to work in. Just to add that onto your resume as well is, is super important. So they, they don't have that. They're losing that through advantage as well. H-1B visas, I've seen just a demise, a demise so over the years so much. And it's one of the first things that clients will say, look, we don't sponsor, especially not the H-1B visa. It's just so difficult. It's so expensive. And it's really sad because I have I know hundreds of seriously strong technologists, amazing communication skills, amazing technologists as well, who work super hard, but they'll never get to the level of anyone else because they just can't. It won't happen.